Amanda Klutz is finding joy again. The proud mama had a sweet beach day with her one-year-old son, Elvis, but also used the fun day to remind him about his late dad's bravery. It's been three months since Nick Cordero died from COVID-19 complications, but she's keeping his memory alive. Alongside the photos and videos of the duo playing at the beach, the proud mom wrote, family day to the beach. Elvis loved the ocean today. He held my hand for the first time walking to the ocean because he was scared, but then ended up jumping in the waves. I kept telling him it's just what his dad, dad would do. He was so brave, I couldn't believe it. She also took to her Instagram story to share more bonding moments with her little one. From early morning singing to ocean chilling. Amanda is making sure Elvis always keeps his dad close to his heart. Last week, the mom and son made pottery using clay incorporated with his ashes. She shared the significance of their special moment on her IG, writing, quote, Elvis and I had a special afternoon today. My girlfriend from years on Broadway has an incredible pottery business in LA, and she invited us to make pottery using some of Nick's ashes. I have recently learned how many ways you can repurpose ashes and make new things with them. I think it's beyond beautiful, a way to keep him living. Amanda has been open about her healing process since losing the love of her life. To mark the three month mark of his passing, she pinned an emotional letter on Instagram writing, quote, the fifths will always be a bit tough for me. Not a day goes by that you aren't thought about and missed. Nick passed away three months ago, but COVID took my husband April 1st, which is seven months ago. I realized that the other day, Elvis and I had lost him seven months ago. Once he went on the ventilator, he never came back. It's weird to think we've been on our own for that long already. Amanda wants others who are grieving to know there are ways to carry on through unimaginable pain. She shared videos of what has helped her through this difficult time. Um, and my last tip is um, that I've been writing a lot. So I'm writing a book with um, the help of my little sister, Anna. We're co-writing a book about our experience and our time, the time um, that everything went down. And it's been very, very, very helpful. I mostly write at night once Elvis is asleep. And um, sometimes I'm crying while writing. Sometimes I'm laughing through writing. Sometimes I'm looking through past Instagram videos and things and I'm in, in awe of everything that kind of happened and transpired during that time and the support and the videos of you guys singing um, with me. It has been incredibly therapeutic and even if you're not writing for a purpose, I suggest writing if you're going through a grieving process because it's something like, you know, you know, you think things in your head, but then when you say them, they take on a different meaning. And same with writing. You think you think things in your head and then when you actually put pen to paper and you write it out, it has a different meaning. It holds a different meaning. Um, it takes on a different meaning. So it's just been very, very helpful to kind of process everything that happened, which was a lot. And I'm realizing how a lot it was in writing. So that is my last tip to write it out, write out your feelings, journal it.